Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelby Bizzle here on YouTube, and today I wanted to tell you guys some things that you should be decluttering before the new year. Starting the new year off fresh with a less cluttered home is going to feel so refreshing, and I am speaking from someone who definitely needs to do this. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about taking on the minimalism challenge. If you guys have never heard of it, I'll talk about it a little bit more at the end of this video, but this is one of those types of videos that's just like a huge list of things you should declutter, so let me not waste any more time and let's go ahead and get into things you should declutter before 2019. So number one is packages from the mail. Anything that you have sitting around your house that came from Amazon or Earth Hero or anywhere where you order things from online, make sure you declutter those packages. I know sometimes it feels like, oh, I'll use it for this occasion or that occasion or maybe I'll need it for this or that, but it chances are if you haven't used it within the last few months, especially if you didn't use it to wrap your holiday gifts, I don't think you're going to use it. Go ahead and get rid of it. Along with that, go ahead and declutter any packaging that you have felt guilty about throwing away. I don't know about you guys, but if something I buy comes in cardboard even, or plastic, or whatever it is, I tend to hold on to that packaging because I feel bad throwing it out, thinking I'll reuse it, or just feeling bad about throwing it out in general because that's waste. But it sitting around your home isn't really helping it from being a wasteful thing. It's still being wasted, just taking up space in your home. So some tips for this are to give it to small businesses who need to ship things out, or to go ahead and look at recycling programs in your area. There are probably a ton. I'll leave a lot of resources in the description so you guys can check it out. Number three are product boxes that you've held on to. I don't know if this is just a me thing or if it's a normal thing to do, but literally just looking over there, I have a box for my drone, a box for my first camera, a box for my gimbal. I don't know why I do this. I guess I feel like the person that I might eventually resell it to will want the box. Don't hold on to those boxes because I don't think you need them. This one is always a big one for me. This is something I should do to myself like every quarter of the year, but it's old condiments in your fridge. If they're expired, if they're crusty, if they've separated and you like are icked out by it, whatever it is, if you're not going to use it, get rid of it. I know that it can tend to be really overlooked because you open the door when to look into the fridge and you don't often like look at the door and what's in the door. So just make a note of that declutter all those little things that are standing in your fridge door. Sticking with the theme of food, go ahead and declutter any unhealthy food that's sitting in your pantry that you're not going to eat or any food in your pantry that you're not going to eat as a matter of fact. So the next one can be any foods that you bought thinking you were going to eat them because they were like trendy or they were really healthy or you've heard great things about them. Maybe you tried it and uh, you didn't like it or maybe you just haven't tried it. Go ahead and donate that to someone who can actually use it, who will actually eat it and let it stop taking up space in your pantry. Another thing that's probably in your kitchen area are fridge magnets or anything that's on your fridge in general. Mine is actually really cluttered because Madison likes to keep all the pictures of our family members when they send us like postcards or pictures for the kids that are doing sports or whatever it is. She puts them on the fridge and it's very cluttered. So I'm definitely going to talk her into decluttering that this year because looking at that all day while I'm at home is it's not pleasant. It kind of stresses me out. Moving away from food and moving into a digital, you can go ahead and declutter apps on your phone. So my phone recently told me that my storage was getting full and I went through my apps and I found so many that I haven't used in probably a year. So I went ahead and deleted them and now not only do I have more space, but my phone is a little less cluttered. Do the same thing for your computer. So your laptop, your work computer, your work laptop, whatever it is, look through your desktop if things are cluttered and kind of everywhere. Delete the things that you don't need anymore and create categories that they can all go into together so you can declutter that space as well. While you're on your computer, make sure you declutter junk mail. Don't leave a ton of things in your inbox unread. That little red notification on my mailbox really, really stresses me out. So I never leave things unread. If I get something in my inbox and I'm constantly just deleting it from a brand or something like that I will unsubscribe from that newsletter so make sure you do the same thing decluttering your junk mail and decluttering junk emails is a great thing to do for your mental sanity and then while you're thinking about decluttering mail declutter any junk mail that you have sitting around any papers catalogs magazines whatever you're getting in the mail that you just kind of threw to the side because you wanted nothing to do with it maybe if you're like me you had some little bit of guilt about just literally turning around and throwing it out declutter that stuff don't keep it in your home and while you're at it watch my video on how to stop your junk mail and stop receiving that stuff also go ahead and declutter receipts while you're at it while you're decluttering your mail stack declutter your receipt stack unless you're saving them for something in which case definitely get a portfolio so that they're not scattered all around but any receipts that you've been holding on to or that maybe you threw aside and they're just sitting there get rid of them just 
to clutter that up. This next one may not apply to a lot of you guys, but it applies to so many people in my family. Plastic bags. <laughs> when I was younger, my mom used to store this huge bag of little plastic bags, and we had so, so, so many for the occasion that we needed to reuse them, but she ended up having hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, just more than you could ever really use, especially if you're accumulating them on a weekly basis, which you shouldn't be. You should be using reusables. But either way, if you have a ton of little plastic bags sitting around, find a plastic bag recycler near you. It doesn't do you any good to hold on to them if you're not gonna reuse them, so just get them out of there. You can also declutter your craft space. So I have a bag of craft things that I've been meaning to take to Austin Creative Reuse, which is a recycling program here in Austin. They recycle like leftover craft supplies. I've been meaning to do that forever, so I definitely need to do that before the new year gets here, or maybe in January if I'm a little bit behind, but you guys should definitely check your craft drawers as well. Do the same thing with your books. So if you have books that you've already read or you intended to read but you never got to them, if there's books that you're not going to read again, be realistic with yourself. If that book doesn't bring you joy and it's just cluttering up your space, go ahead and donate that or you could even sell it and make some money back on those. But definitely don't just hold on to them for no reason. Another thing that I've known people to hold on to a lot are cards like Christmas cards, birthday cards, graduation cards, whatever the cards are that someone gave you for a special occasion. I know a lot of times people will hold on to them them for sentimental value or because they feel bad just throwing them out but honestly they just kind of clutter up your space and you don't ever look back at them so go ahead and declutter them. Similar thing with gifts that you've kept out of guilt. So maybe someone in your family bought you something that you didn't like, that you didn't need, that you don't use. Don't feel bad about decluttering those things. You can definitely sell them to ensure that they get a new home, that they will actually be used, but you can also donate it. And I don't think anyone should feel bad about not wanting a gift they were given because once it is gifted to you, it is now yours to do what you please with. And chances are the person who bought it for you is never gonna ask you where it is anyway. So while you're in the birthday card section, the gifts that you don't use section also declutter extra gift bags same thing when I was younger my mom had dozens and dozens of gift bags but she would reuse the same like handful of them over and over and over so why don't you just do that don't hold on to extra gift bags that you don't need maybe you can give them to your friends or family or neighbors so that they can reuse them during the holiday season or the upcoming year and you don't have to hold on to so many of them I talked about throw pillows recently and a lot of you guys seem to share in my hatred for them and thinking that they are just kind of something to clutter up your space so if you have throw pillows that you don't want that you don't use that are just kind of in your way just go ahead and get rid of them now I feel like clothing is self-explanatory you know how to look at a garment and look at it and see if it fits you if it doesn't fit you if you want it if you haven't worn it in a year all of those things I didn't want to take up a lot of space in this video with declutter your clothing because I think you've probably got a handle on that but maybe things that you haven't considered decluttering are the excess amount of scarves that you may have or the excess amount of hats that you may have but really if you think about it can you get by with just one beanie and one visor and maybe one sun hat declutter all the other extra hats that you may have bought over the years because they were cute or trendy and do the same thing with scarves same thing here with formal clothing I held on to my prom dress for quite some time because I kept expecting to resell it and I listed it a couple times got some weird calls from some weird people about wanting to lick my feet and after I received that call I just went ahead and donated it but any formal clothing you have that you haven't worn within the last couple years maybe it doesn't fit you anymore but if you don't have any intentions to wear something like that chances are you're not going to wear it again especially if it's way far into the future most of the time you're gonna want to go shopping probably secondhand and get something new so don't just hold on to those things go ahead and declutter them as well excess cleaning products I have not posted a dedicated video to my all-purpose cleaner but I do have a blog post about it I'll link it in the description I find that constantly wiping down surfaces with my all-purpose cleaner helps me prevent from needing any other super harsh cleaners you don't need something different for every little surface in your house the truth is that's just a marketing scheme all you need is one good all-purpose cleaner that you can make yourself for very very cheap so declutter all those other toxic things in your home also declutter your excess cosmetics this is something I am looking so forward to doing I did a little bit already I regifted a lot of makeup that I used to wear that I used to care about now I just don't really care that much I'm regifting it to one of my cousins for the holidays and she will get much more use out of it than I would so if you have extra cosmetics and it could be anything skincare makeup just stuff that you don't use anymore because maybe it's not your style or maybe it's old whatever it is don't just leave it sitting around if it's something that you know you're never going to touch again go ahead and get rid of it and do the same thing for nail polishes if they are crusted up if they're expired if they're just no good anymore if you don't have an interest in nail polish anymore 
me, then go ahead and declutter those. Circling back to the kitchen for a second, excess kitchen appliances. So I recently was digging through my pots and pans and realized that I haven't used half of my pots and pans the entire time I have lived in this apartment. And I've lived here for two and a half years. So there are probably quite a few pots and pans I can declutter, but same thing with kitchen appliances. I haven't used my crock pot since we lived here. Why do I still have that thing? I think we keep a lot of things out of guilt and what ifs, but I'm done with that because I definitely want a more clutter-free space this year, so go ahead and declutter anything like that. As well as excess spoons, knives, forks, stirs, whatever it is that you have excess of in your kitchen, go through all those drawers and if you haven't used it in a year, just, just get rid of it. Someone else could use it if you donate it. I also recently decluttered a lot of old jewelry that was cheap that I don't wear anymore because it's not my style or it's falling apart or it's tarnished and it can't be refinished because it's cheap, nasty jewelry. If you have something like that that you're just not wearing, go ahead and declutter those as well. You can also go ahead and declutter cords within the new year or before the new year because I didn't realize I had cords. I thought whenever I was making this list, like, oh, that's one of the ones that I actually don't have. But then the other day I had to go looking for an old version of a USB um, in my cubby over there that has all my camera goodies. And it turns out I do have quite a few cords. I'm not really sure what they go to. So decluttering your tech drawer or maybe your tech cubby or just your cords. Just get rid of all the stuff that you haven't used in a while. I guess this list is a little bit all over the place, but also food containers. If you have lids and bottoms, like the containers that don't match, if you have ones that you put in your dishwasher, if they've misformed. I don't have a dishwasher, but I know that used to happen with my mom a lot. She would put her plastic Tupperware into her dishwasher and then they come out not matching anymore, not fitting. And then you're constantly digging through all this stuff trying to find the right stuff. Just go ahead and take that headache away in advance and declutter things that don't fit each other or that you don't need. Also you can declutter vases. I don't have any vases but I know whenever I used to live with my mom I would go under the sink to get like a cleaning product out and there would be like all these vases everywhere and what did she ever use those vases for? I on <laughs> I have no clue but if you're like that go ahead and declutter those and maybe save one that you might use. Last thing I wanted to mention for you to declutter before the new year or maybe early on in the new year like me are cheap souvenirs that don't have any sort of sentimental value. So I definitely have some souvenirs that mean a lot to me that were made by artisans where I traveled to and they are very much something I want to hold on to. But then I used to have souvenirs that were really cheap and shitty quality and that didn't mean anything to me like shot glasses from a dollar store in Las Vegas or something like that. They're kind of tacky. They're kind of cluttery. Just go ahead and get rid of those. So that's all the things I wanted to remind you to declutter before the new year or early on in the new year as I'm going to be doing. I mentioned in the beginning that I'm going to try to do a minimalism challenge in January, which means for each day of the month, you declutter one thing that is associated with the date of that day. So essentially on the first, you declutter one thing. On the second, you declutter two things. On the 15th, you declutter 15 things. And on the 31st, you declutter 31 things. I'm going to try to document that on this channel for you guys, because as much as I feel like I'm a minimalist, I slowly accumulate things that we probably could get rid of and I want to show you guys what those are. So thumbs up if you like this video, thumbs up if you're looking forward to the minimalism challenge. Let me know in the comments if that challenge sounds like something you'd be interested in or if there's anything that I forgot to put on this list that you think other people haven't thought of yet. I'd love to hear that in the comments as well. I'm wishing all of you guys a very happy new year. I am looking so forward to the plans that I have coming up in 2019 and I hope you are too. The new year always re-energizes me so I am very very excited and I'll see you guys in the new year. Remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye, guys.